Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today what we're going to do is we're going to look at this video clip that the developers have tweeted out and then we're going to go into more viewer suggestions. So this first one we have today is called a Gravity Backpack and uh, it does exactly that. This might be the coolest item or coolest unit that I've ever seen in the game and it's slated to work in the next update. We're not quite sure uh, that is all the information they gave out but it, it looks really cool. So let's play it here and uh, let's see. So it starts normal, like there's regular guys, look at those lightning sparks and then a big ball and then all of the barbarians get thrown right into there. Look at that, isn't that so cool? And then check this out, we change and we look over and there's some cannonballs flying in and explosions as soon as the cannon backpack detonates. Let's look at it again and it goes all splashy splashy mode. You guys get sucked up into it and it looks totally, totally awesome. So. Uh, man, I love how the cannons go in there and explode everything together. Groups them up and then blows them up. Let's take it one more look. See here, we're gonna we're gonna take a little look at it slow motion and look at it go. So there's like maybe what 20 barbarians there rolling in with their their maces or hammers, clubs, whatever they're called. The backpack discharges, blows up, and then those guys get sucked into it. This is so awesome. I can't imagine like using this against the chicken man man watching it fold up and curl up and get sucked into the black hole and they get thrown around into gravity, uh, getting into orbit there around the backpack and then doing as exactly as they do here and use the cannons against it where they, they take the cannonballs and they blow up the cannonballs all the way inside of the, the gravity orb. I don't know, I guess that would be the best way to call it a gravity sphere, gravity well, maybe? And here comes the cannonballs right into there. They're gonna detonate, explode, watch them crackle and pop as they blow up in their pieces, and that is so cool. Kills all of the bad guys. It is kind of a suicide attempt for the, uh, the gravity backpack, man but it seems really cool anyway. So let's get in some real, uh, some viewer suggestions. Uh, okie dokie, we're gonna start off with the bling bling one two three six six one's comment of do a shield wall with a samurai in the middle versus a ninja master. So that's what we have set up here. I don't know if this is gonna work, I don't know. I did find this, if you hold down control, check out this coolness. You can place things down on the grid like we had before. I didn't know that. Uh, it's, it's very helpful when placing down units now though. So let's try this out and see what happens here. Oh man, I went right into it. Okay, we have the the Ninja Master. He's gonna throw his, oh there, there's the stars. See, I have a feeling that they're not gonna do anything. And, oh there, <laughs> that didn't work so well, did it? Shoots, what happens if we, we change this guy out and put in one of the Viking dudes, oh, Viking Axeman. Yeah, we'll try him in there. Okay, Axeman, I really like this Axeman because he's all derpy. He goes, derp, derp, derp. Wait, the bear's dead. Oh, the bear's got his eyes crossed out, but he doesn't. And he jumps over top. Oh, the samurai. The samurai might kill him. Nope, just kidding. He gets crushed by the enormous weight of a bear. Rawr, it's a bear. Can this one guy take out... Ooh, 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 ooh. Do it, do it. Okay, and then slow motion. Oh, headstand. Just kidding. Get up. Get your bad self up, Mr. Bear. Oh, shoulder charge. Now he's getting lifted. What, what's what's going on with him? Okay, ready, get set, and now he's gonna get, he's gonna charge again. Actually, he's just gonna smack this guy behind him, isn't he? Yep, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, ding dong. Yes, look where the bad guys are over here. You need to ch charge at them. Here comes, whoop, whoop, jumping out of the way. Oh, blue victory, they killed him. Ah, get wrecked. Can a Trump kill him? I kinda doubt that a Trump can even kill him. Let's watch, let's watch the Donald. Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to be able to shoot through the shields. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just explosive damage. Oh, ho -ho. the Trumpster taken down the wall. That's a little bit wrong. Wow. We'll try with Hillary too. Just to see if Hillary can throw the, the <laughs> emails. Spam emails. I don't know. Emails can't go through. Can't go through the shields. Oh, she can dodge and duck and dive around. Look at her. Look at her ninja skills. She's ninjaizing everyone. That's not even a word. Spam, and you get an email. She's like Oprah. You get an email, and you get an email. Oh, ho, ho, over the top. Okay, watch this. There it comes. Now, someone's gonna duck down. The guy right in front of you, look at this. Throw in the emails over the top of the shields as they fall down. They're bowing before her and getting emailed right in the faces. Oh, ho, ho, I like that. That's awesome. Now, ready? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, she's getting hit. What's gonna happen? What? Who's gonna win? Um, how did that guy die? Oh, and an email right to the back of the leg kills 
so they can both take out the shield wall. Okay, so the next suggestion is by Big and Lord Gaming, and he says to do 50 spearmen or the throwing spearmen versus 50 archers to see which one is best. This is interesting. Um, I don't know what to think about these rocks. We're gonna see how it goes. This is kind of kind of weird. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like the archers are gonna win because they have a little more range and they have faster reload time, but they also kill each other faster. <laughs> nope, 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 the archer, the, oh, one, we got one spear off. Maybe we need to put them closer together. Okay, we'll try it again. Now the, these guys are in range. They still take a long time to throw and they throw right down too low. Ah, maybe we need to put the archers right there. Ooh, man, man, oh, the rock, the rock. It's a defensive rock. This is gonna be a little bit of a cheaty side for, oh no, there's still no way, there is no way that these archers are gonna lose to the spearmen. Nope, mm, okay. I feel like the spears do more damage but the archers are fire faster. And just for old time's sake, I always like this fight. <laughs> I always like watching this guy get filled like a pincushion full of bullets. I wish they had hit him higher though, because it's no fun when his legs get filled up with arrows. I mean, it is still fun. I still love it. Blah, blah, blah. Reminds me of the scene off of, uh, oh, what's that movie? Ah, Lord of the Rings, where Legolas climbs up the leg of the Oliphant. I love that scene. Climbs up and, and stabs him in the brain, shoots him in the brain. I don't remember. Oh, man, they kill each other. They're not going to be able to bring him down. Hey, he's holding an arrow in his hand. Go, Stabby McStabberton. Stomp on his head. Stomp on his head. Oh, you stomped on him and it didn't kill him. Blah, blah, blah. Keep rolling. Oh, the chickens hit him in the head, but the helmets protected him. Ouch, that looked like it was painful. Get kicked, get double kicked, get triple kicked. Boom, dead, you're dead, you're dead still. Die and stuff, get kicked again, and there's so many chickens, there it goes. Yep, that was fun. Okay, so this one's really complex. This is by Blah Blah Studio. It says Salem Witch Trials. We have one dark peasant with one chicken man in front of him. Then we have four super boxers, three super peasants, and a bunch of farmers and regular peasants representing the witches from the Salem Witch Trials. On the other side is the citizens, which we have the chicken man as the mayor. We've got uh, six ballistas in the back. We've got a chariot on the left side. We have a ninja master standing next to the chariot, which is supposed to be a time traveler. <laughs> I, this kind of gets weird at this point. Time Traveler and then a time traveling car, so that's kind of interesting. Then we have 30 swordsmen in the back, or these guys right here. I put the 30 swordsmen up front and 50 farmers relatively spread around, 30 archers down here, 20 thieves in the back, and a catapult. I have a feeling that red team is still going to get totally pooped on. Um, just because that... Oh, <laughs> did you see that thing go? Oh, the chariot just got rocked. Oh my. There goes the flying super peasant. And I think the whole idea here is going to be having to take out the dark peasant before anything bad happens, and I don't, I don't foresee that happening. Oh, he dodged it. So these, these guys here, they have to hit it. Uh, oh, there was a good hit. Okay, okay, you can do it. Come on, come on. Yeah, hit him again. No, hit him. No, hit him. Hit him. Take him out. Take out the witch. No, no, guys, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to hit this black one first. Kill the dude that's got the red nasty sparks on him. Uh oh. <laughs> Here comes the super peasants to win the- Oh, it took out two in a shot! Oh, never mind, they got back up. <laughs> they were skewered together though. That was fun, I want to do that one one more time. Maybe it'll end up a little bit differently. Actually, you know what? We cannot let the witches win. We must add more ballistas to the map. And now, oh, here comes the chariot. Chariot got rocked to begin with. Ah, the chariot does not work very good. Here comes the throwing stars in from the ninja master, who also got just skewered. And the super peasants are dominating now. Oh, he's stuck! Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's still alive. Well, the regular units have been messed up, and now... Oh, no, we still have some musket men. Maybe the musket men can do it. Uh, Dark Peasant's coming after him. It's so, so much vibrations going on. Okay, man. Oh, that guy, is he dead? Did they get what? No, they didn't even get a Super Peasant. Uh-oh. And here comes the Dark Peasant in here. I bet we could even remove the Super Peasants and we'd still probably lose. What's going on over here? Okay, there's... Are you dead? No, how are you not dead? Look at all those arrows in him. Look at that. He's a cheater. Cheater, cheater, McGeeter. McSkeeter, Geeter. Hey, he just got rocked. Did he die? He got a wooden stake through his heart. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. Now we've got, what, one Superman man left? Uh-oh. He's squatting down. Here it comes. Here comes the final... final. Oh, he did it! Red Team victory! Oh, that was awesome. 
that last little ballista bolt took him down. Man, that was fun. I wish <laughs> I wish I could keep playing it. Man, look at the difference in price here too. 18,000 versus 63,000. Yeah, it's Ooks, man. Okay, so this next suggestion is kind of funny. It's a little bit late, a little bit late, but it is the Thanksgiving theme battle by Blitzwolf. He says, do the turkey hunt. <laughs> this is crazy. So we have, on this side, we have the pilgrims, which have four spear throwers in there trying to uh, hunt down the turkeys with spears. And then we've got two archers, which are this guy and that guy. And we got a samurai somewhere back here. We got an axeman. We've got, uh, let's see, two regular peasants trying to catch turkeys by hand. And then we have pilgrims with guns on this other side trying to capture the turkeys and now all these are turkeys this is my favorite part we have one we have one turkey turkey man or a chicken man he's the turkey summoner and then these guys are taekwondo guys and it says that they are the scratching turkeys then we have three thieves that are pecking turkeys and then we have three headbutters that are headbutting turkeys and then two vikings that are smart turkeys I, I don't i don't really understand how those names come up but i put them way on the other side so the turkeys can do their turkey like thing trying to hide and and wait and then we're gonna have our our regular army come in and take out the turkeys but we do have a mess of turkeys rolling in and this should be pretty fun when all the turkeys or chickens here hit oh there it goes what oh we had an explosion oh that's the that's the ballista or the ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, uh, these things, musket dudes. Here comes the turkeys. The chicken man is surprisingly smarter than the smart turkeys were. And look at the chickens going to tell, or the turkeys, sorry. The turkeys, the turkey attack. I need to do, maybe next video we'll do a giant like KFC battle where we try to burn up all the turkeys. Okay, oh no, look at all the turkeys go. He's running away, he's pooping out the chicken turkeys. Hey, get him, get him, get him. Man, this guy's got a ton of hit points. Keep hitting him, oh no, don't get, oh he killed it, what? Oh no, the blue victory! Blue victory? Wait, the turkeys won! Oh man, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I gotta see it one more time, because it came down to like, it was like a tie right at the end. And I don't know how that, I don't know how either of them happened. Ooh, missed with the arrow. Oh, right in the brain, brain shot. Okay, here comes the, ch oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, that was nasty. Oh, the turkeys are coming in again. The turkeys are gonna win. Look at all the Taekwondo masters. Boom, boom. Kick oh, that's a head butter going in. Uh oh. Oh, and there's another head butter. They're gonna win. Uh oh. The Taekwondo guy is totally dead. And there's a kick right in the groin. The bear is dead. Oh, is he alive? Is he dead? Is he alive or dead? Hello. Hello, I'd like to see your eyes. Your eyes are X's. You have been vanquished. And then there is only one more dude here who can't seem to do anything correct in his life. He's got a nice hat on. Oh, he's down. So the turkeys. The turkeys are the winners. Nothing kills turkeys better than the ultimate in turkey defense. Ballistas. This will be more interesting. Ooh, we should add more turkeys to the game. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I love ballistas, man. Oh, right through the shield, too. Oh, that's so mad. Ooh, another good hit. Yes, oh man, that took out, that killed him. These ballistas have so many hit points to them. Oh, yep, here goes the last of the kicking, scratching turkeys or whatever they were called. That was fun, that was, that was. So the final suggestion that I'm going to do is, uh, says, Oh, nope. Um, I don't remember what it said. <laughs> I basically do a tournament between everything. So I'm just gonna do this, and I'm just gonna try to spam and, and be equal on both sides just to see what happens. And I don't, it'll be fun. I don't, I don't really know. Pew, pew. Okay. Hey, I'm keeping it decently even. There, it's even evener. Even evener? That doesn't make sense. Okay, and a ballista. We'll make sure we get the same amount of range units on both sides, like so. And then that's good. And we'll go to the crusade. Oh, we just did those aggressions, Greekans, Greekifiers. A couple shields in the front. That sounds great. A couple chariots. Let's do two chariots on both sides. And I want some Asian Taekwondo. One of them. Some of these right here, over here. One of that. And then this guy. And then a Huacha. And another Huacha. Okay. Um, prices didn't come out as, as I'd hoped, so let's kind of even it out. Oh, that's not going to work too well. Let's even out with some farmers over here. That's not going to work well either. How about, um, I don't know, footmen? There we go. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, whatever. Let's just go with it. Okay. So we've got uh, we've got some Trumps in here. We've got some Hillarys in here. There's M16s going. I can't follow anything. I did put in two Dark Peasants, one in each backside. And it's already such a mess. I really wish these chariots would be the color. And same with shields. The chariots and shields would be the color of the battle. Man, this is just, this is just nasty. 
I can't tell. Oh, what? Oh no! Rubber bending Superman! And Trump's building a wall somewhere. Is there? Oh, there's a Trump wall! I mailed the Trump wall, and it's gonna collapse on these. It's gonna collapse on them. No! Take down the big X-Men. Hey, look! <laughs> this dude's like, I love this big square. I'm gonna hug it forever. That was almost a little Force Gumpish, wasn't it? So here comes some of the Dark Peasants. Where are they? Dark Peasant is right here. Is he alive? He does look maybe alive? I can't tell. Maybe that's the Chicken Man. I don't know. Oh, and the Chicken Man is attacking the Chicken Man Man. Okay, and there's a lot of... Oh, there's Trump. Trump is building... No, that's... Wait. Trump lost a gun? I didn't know that was possible. Okay, he's taking him out. Go, Blue Trump. You can make it. Shoot him in the groin when he's down. There's the blue victory. Yes, mission complete. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time because there's a lot that we can follow. Let's follow a chariot for a little bit. See what a chariot can do in its life. So he's kind of sneaky because he's on the opposite team. And oh, oh, well, there goes his head. Let's try to follow this chariot now and hope that the blue team can survive. Oh, there's email stuck in there. Oh, taking out Hillary. I see what you're doing there. Oh, man, you got dominated. Now let's follow Hillary. As Hillary goes and spams her emails somewhere else. Um, uh, her Gmails. I didn't know she had a Gmail account. Hey, wow! There goes a rock. And, oh, here's the big bears. I love the big bear, guys. This is a mess over here. Oh, they're taking out the... The super peasants are attacking each other. That's a good sign. Oh, and I hit it with a catapult. That's awesome. Um, ooh, there's another catapult attack. These guys are going to be the last ones alive, I think. Uh, oh, <laughs> Oh, look at his eyes. They're glowing. I haven't seen that before. That's kind of cool that they just kind of sit in the air and get hit by the catapults. Oh, you missed it that time, though. Okay, there's some chickens that are flying over this way trying to hit these dudes. They don't know what they're doing with themselves. Oh, no, Chicken Man Man just got skewered by a uh, dark peasant. I don't know where the other... Where's the red dark peasant at? Sit down here? Did the red dark peasant die? He might have. Uh-oh. There is no hope for the blue team, or red team, one of the teams. Here's the other one, so they're both right there, and I don't know which one's alive yet. I always love watching the chickens pelt a catapult, too. <laughs> they just kind of fly in there, throw some, throw themselves at it, and then nothing really happens. I think we're stuck. I think we're stuck in kind of this weird state of equilibrium right now. Especially with those two um, guys stuck way up in space. These guys have no idea what's going on anymore. They're just hanging out up here, going to a movie. Hey, eating popcorn. Oh, they're flying off the map. Does that matter? I don't have any idea if it matters or not. Looks like everything else is pretty much taken care of. And they don't even... Oh, they're flying down now. Why are you flying down? Where are you going? Oh, they're they're actually falling. Well then. No, oh, don't do it. Don't do it, catapult. No, it's not worth it, man. Don't. Oh, you dummy. That's not what you're supposed to do with yourself. You are the chosen one. You're supposed to attack the chicken man man over here. It has become too leggy to play any longer. Now, thanks to all the chickens on the map. <laughs> Evidently, they just keep spawning and spawning. I wish there was a cap of, like, say, 1,000 chickens. Because we have a ton of chickens right now. Oh, wow. What's going on over here? What is this unit? What was that unit? I don't even know. It was just spamming stuff. What is it? Oh, it's a, <laughs> a ninja master. He's throwing the ninja stars at the chickens. Oh, what's this going on over here? That's a, just a regular footman, and he... Oh, my word. There's the blue victory, finally! It's over after, like, 15 minutes. Crazy battle. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and let me know. Give me some more suggestions down below in the, in the comments. Please give them to me. I'm going to do the best I can to get to them. So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.